Okay, so let's talk about our favorite things, what we picked up today. It's a good price for a gigantic thing of it, and we use it for everything literally all the time. We haven't had, I mean, we've had like, you know, staples and <laughs> stitches. Done like some all the way. As a man wipeth a dish. So, how does the rest of that verse go? It's so a woman layeth in the bed with him. <laughs> We're trying to keep this PG here. Or just G, actually. Would probably, let's just keep it G. That's for the best of everybody. That is a verse in the Bible now. I always see memes about it. It's kind of hilarious to me and to anyone, really. This is like, see, wiping dishes. It says a man wipes him, so. Anyway, we are just getting back from our errand day, which got a lot later start than we wanted it to. We went to Costco. We got a pickup order from Amazon and we got some groceries from Walmart, but I'm just gonna show you guys what we got from Costco real quick. What was our total, John? $600. It was not $600 even. It was $5.99 or something. See, people wanna know. All right, the total was like $5.99, which is for us an average Costco haul. We tend to go like once every week and a half, two weeks, sometimes it's less. So this haul was like a medium sized haul. We've gone and like two to three hundred dollars is probably normal when we go like every week and a half. But if we go every like two to three weeks, then we're looking at like five or six hundred dollars. Um, and then we used to go like try to stock up big time for like a month at a time and that was a lot more. But we found kind of a groove here. I did get some extra things that we didn't need right now, but that's the beauty of Costco. And I know a lot of you guys have said in other videos that you don't have a big family, so it doesn't make sense to shop at Costco or like I'm talking about affording it. How do you guys afford that? I wanted to touch on that really quick. A couple things. One. We have to, <laughs> we have to afford it. If we didn't afford it, we couldn't feed our kids. That said, we do buy organic foods and gluten-free foods. Our kids have celiac disease, so gluten-free is a non-negotiable for us. But I also just believe you either invest in health or you invest in sickness. <laughs> um, you're gonna be paying like medical bills on the back end if you don't invest in your health the best that you can. So that's been the way we've done things for, I don't know, nine, 10 years now. To the best of our ability, we do give and take. Uh, like the kids had the fruit smoothies, we sometimes get Chick-fil-A fries or whatever. You know, we're not, we're not like, but when we can do better, we, we just aim for that and that's kind of the standard. And to be fair, we haven't had a sick visit in, we haven't had, I mean, we've had like, you know, staples and <laughs> stitches but uh, not like six sick visits. So. so obviously that affects the price. But with a large family, we kind of have to buy in bulk. So like for us, this, this might look like a lot of bananas to you, but really that'll last us like a week because we have nine people here that eat bananas and might use them in smoothies and might have one on top of yogurt or whatever, just snacking on them. We make pancakes with them, we go through them. The same thing with a lot of this stuff, whereas like, this is a gigantic bag of chips and might last your family like days. For us, this is like one open and done kind of thing. Okay, the other point is, so for us, Costco allows us to get the same thing. Like if I bought the same amount of bananas from Whole Foods or from uh, Harris Teeter or Publix or whatever, <laughs> Ingles, whatever your grocery store is, it would cost literally two to three times as much. The same thing. These chips, a bag this size would like cost at least double anywhere else. So for us, it helps us save money on things we're already buying. But even if you don't have a big family, when you can invest in like bulk shopping, because I think that's what most people use Costco for is to like buy things in bulk. So these were $3 off. We use them all the time. If they're $3 off, we're gonna get as many as we can. Uh, and just put them in the deep freezer and keep them so that we have them. So then when they're full price all the time, we don't have to buy them and we can wait, hopefully make it to the next sale and then restock, that kind of thing. So truly for us, shopping at Costco with a big family or a little family is all about saving money. Uh, it's about whether you buy things in bulk so you get way more of something than you're gonna need for a while, but you're able to store it in your pantry or your deep freezer 
or you have a big family and this is a lot cheaper than getting the same amount of food at a grocery store. Okay, so let's talk about our favorite things, what we picked up today. There's a few random things we don't normally get, um, but uh, we'll walk you through that. So one of the random things is this pirate booty. It used to be non-GMO. We try to stay away from genetically modified foods as much as we can just because I think God created food for us on the earth and when we start interfering in that and <laughs> changing it up, it has negative health effects. So uh, it's something we try to look for, but every once in a while, we're gonna just bypass that, which we did here because Everly's birthday's coming up and we thought it'd be fun for her to have some pirate booty. Okay, we also grabbed some of this Boom Chicka Pop. This stuff is gluten-free. Um, it's not organic, but it's delicious. It's like a sweet kettle corn. So if you like that sweet and salty vibe, this is the one for you. I already showed you all of the bananas. I also got this giant bag of little potatoes. We had these the other day. We had friends over and grilled out. And so I took all these potatoes, threw them on a pan with a, a bunch of butter uh, and some rosemary and some salt and it and we baked them and they were so good so it's just a good size bag of little potatoes I also like to cut them up to make like breakfast potatoes with them with some onions and peppers delish all right we always grab this olive oil from Costco it's the organic extra virgin olive oil it's just a good price for a gigantic thing of it and we use it for everything literally all the time maple syrup this is the cheapest i found it anywhere so we even looked at like bulk we get stuff from azure which our order comes on monday and we bought like cheese and flour and a lot of stuff bulk there but the syrup was still a better price from costco and then this strawberry spread i like it because it doesn't have like it's strawberries organic cane sugar pectin citric acid like it's really simple it's not perfect but it's a big old jar of it for a really good price. These are just like fruit strips, basically. They're pretty good. I feel like maybe they're expensive, but I think fruit strips in general are kind of expensive, but they were like begging for them. So we got those as a fun little snack. Um, okay, I picked up this. My kids love this. This trail mix is organic. It's got three different blends that have like different types of nuts. Um, I don't know, whatever. Kids love it. It's an easy snack. They can just grab like an individual bag and go. So we got two of those. There's 24 in each one. Next up is these. Um, okay, they used to be called coconut clusters and they were slightly different and they've had a few different flavors. We haven't gotten them in a while, but I saw this almond and pecan, pecan, how do you say it? I don't know, comment, comment below, don't fight. Nobody fight. Pecan, pecan. Uh, I will always say it both ways so that I don't offend anyone. These are Beyond Celiac certified gluten-free. They're actually really delicious. They have like cinnamon E. Do they have nutmeg? I don't know. Hmm. They do have erythritol in it, so if you're sensitive to that, skip that. But I don't really like coconut, and I really like these. Um, so we grabbed three of those because they were $3 off. Already Costco price and then $3 off. So we stocked up on that because the kids have been like devouring it. We keep it in a little jar and I'll like keep finding the lid off the jar, their little hands going in. Dried mangoes, bam, one of my favorite snacks. I don't, I don't even know how old I was the first time I had a mango. I'm pretty sure it was like in my thirties, but the dried ones are like candy. And don't eat too many or you will get a bellyache, but honestly they're delicious. Okay, mandarins, big five pound thing of them good price. I feel like their produce is generally a good price. Some people are commenting that the strawberries are expensive. This was $8, but it's two pounds. So it comes out to like $4 a pound for organic strawberries. That is way cheaper. <laughs> Even they were on sale at Whole Foods and they were still like $4.60 on sale. So for one pound. So this is cheaper than even sales at other places. Bam. These are blueberries. These were expensive. The price has been going up and up and up and I'm assuming it's a seasonal thing, but it made me really sad because that was $8 for this, which is probably 
double or two and a half times the size of like a normal little blueberry container. I just always make a habit of grabbing butter anytime we go. We really like the Kirkland brand. It's grass-fed, 95% grass-fed, which is the same as the Kerrygold. Everyone loves Kerrygold because it's grass-fed New Zealand butter, but they actually do uh, supplement some in the winter. I did read that, so it's about the same. So we go with this because it's cheaper. And there's four sticks in it. The sticks are like double normal. So you're getting basically eight sticks of butter for like $10 or something. Carrots. This is a good, this is like a giant. This is a bag, six pounds of carrots. We got 12. My kids just straight up snack on these. They'll grab a, a raw carrot out of the fridge and just eat it and that's their snack. I love it for them. They love it. Uh, these are pretty cheap at Costco. Same thing with like celery sticks. We do a lot of like peanut butter or hummus or whatever. So this is like nice vacuum sealed. Again, better price. I feel like produce, at least our Costco does really good. The Hippie Organics. Hippie Organics. Uh, I would partner with them in a heartbeat if they ever wanted to because I love their produce. They're the ones who get the blueberries and they're always delicious. Also, this asparagus. I wait for it every single spring. It's huge. Do you see how, look. They're like the size of my fingers. And this giant thing is like, I don't know, the price of like a teeny little bundle from the grocery store. And they're so good and we love it. All the kids, even Israel is obsessed. Eggs. Okay, cheapest place usually to get pasture raised organic eggs. It was $8 for two dozen. So that comes out to $4 a dozen for organic pasture raised eggs. Our chickens, however, laid, I think we got 15 eggs today. So we're moving on up. Uh, but I wanted to get extra. We have guests coming this week. So I wanted to make sure we had enough to really make all the things we might want to make, need to make. So we went ahead and got extra. I think I said extra, and that's pretty funny. All right, coming around this side, perfect bars. I would also partner with them in a heartbeat because I've been eating these things for years and I love them. I think we gave them to the kids too much because some of them were like, I don't like those anymore. I'm like, okay, you can take a break and we'll revisit it again because they're the bomb. But it's basically a peanut butter based protein bar. It's got a bunch of other superfoods and stuff in it. I don't know, they remind me of like cookie dough kind of, like a peanut butter chocolate chip cookie dough kind of situation. If you take them out of the fridge and let them like get soft. Does that make sense? They can, you can travel with them for like a week. Otherwise they need to be refrigerated, but they're good. Costco has these for $20 for 12, which in the store they're like 250 for one, which is insane. Walmart used to have them for like $1.98 for one but even Walmart's prices on them have gone up, so we get them from Costco. Jude, what's your favorite thing about these? Do you like them? No, not really. Sweet potato fries? Okay, Jude was clearly the wrong person to ask. These sweet potato fries are great. You can put them with a burger or chicken nuggets. I mean, they taste good, mm -hmm. but I think I like them better with ketchup. Got it, salt and ketchup. I, I do like them that way too. We also tend to bake them, cover them with black beans, um, like seasoned, like taco seasoned black beans, and cheese, and salsa, and guacamole. And sometimes even corn. And sometimes corn, and sour cream, whatever. Just like turn it into basically nachos, <laughs> loaded nachos, but with sweet potato fries, and it's delicious, and the kids love it. And I love it. <clears throat> okay, I got squash and zucchini. I like this. It's a good price, and it gives you a good combo of both, so if you wanna grill out, this is a nice way to like make kebabs or just some grilled veggies with this assortment. Again, it's organic and it's a good price, um, as much as Costco stuff is. Okay, I already told you about our love for Siete and their almond flour tortillas. Like we literally will use these as wraps to make peanut butter and banana, like pinwheels or, you know, turkey and cheese, or we make tacos or quesadillas or I don't know. Yeah, during the Feast of Unleavened Bread, we've reverted to these tortillas. So, $3 off each one. We stocked up a whole lot. They'll go in the deep freezer. Okay, also grab some green beans. Uh, these are just, it's just great. I just like, you know, the more vegetables and real foods we can give our kids, the better. Let's see, okay, okay. So we're working our way around the back now. 
got, are my kids love smoothies. I don't know about you guys, but it's a really easy button. You just throw the frozen stuff in the blender. Bam, here's your lunch, here's your breakfast. That's here's your dinner. Here's your dinner. Maybe, it might be, it's 7.30. These are frozen mango chunks. Uh, frozen, frozen strawberries. Did you wanna put those in the freezer for me? Yes, because I love them. She might not love the sweet potato fries, but she loves smoothies. Okay, so we used to get this all the time. We stopped for a while. I don't honestly really know why, but mahi-mahi, it's like the only fish most of my kids will eat. They will all eat it, but it doesn't. It has a mild flavor. If you've never tried mahi-mahi, it's more like chicken. Like It's like a very mild, not fishy flavor. We always go wild caught because farm-raised fish, you can just look into that yourself on your own time. But Costco has a ton of wild caught fish. So if you like tilapia, they got you. If you like salmon, they got you. If you like mahi mahi, they got you. Okay, John's favorite salsa. And these, these were $3 off the bag. So it was, right, $2 off something, I don't know. It was like $3.50 for three times the size of a normal bag. These, like for real, remember that one time I ordered them from like Publix and the bag was like, it was like a no, self yeah. single serving and it was like $3. I'm like, what the heck? Okay, $3 for more. These are our favorite crackers. So every time we go, we get a few boxes. I buy more when they're on sale, but I know that we had some stuff coming up this week. When we get really busy, we go to like crackers and cheese and cucumbers and carrots and like that's lunch. It's just like charcuterie. Right? If you say that it's charcuterie, it makes it acceptable. Yeah, absolutely. I'm just kidding. It's acceptable anyway because it's a real food. These are like pretty much almonds with some other flavorings. They're really good. Okay, same thing with applesauce. I have found we're gonna make our own one day. It's just not the journey for me in this season of life. You know? Maybe when the cow's not being milked, then we can. <laughs> Until then. These are a good price, the little like, like plastic containers. Uh, it's easy for the kids to just grab one and have that as a snack. We tend to save these ones for the baby because while he still will help himself to this, he makes an absolute mess with it. We try, we get a little spoon, but forget it, it's everywhere. So we try to get him to do the applesauce pouches. These are great on the go. You go on a zoo date, you don't wanna take a plastic cup, you don't wanna take a big jar of applesauce, you wanna take a pouch, so. There you go, we got those. And this is at like a way better price than the grocery store. Got a giant watermelon. We bought one the other week, right, from Costco. That other one was from Costco? Mm hmm It's not organic, but it is delicious. Like that was really sweet. Mm hmm It was a very good watermelon. So 10 out of 10, recommend that. We've made it back to the beginning. Except this, I didn't show people. These beef sticks that, you like them? Mm-hmm. Jude? Nope. nope. I think I'm basically Adeline. the only one that eats them. Israel will like chew on part of one. Yeah. Adeline likes them. Halfway. Halfway. Well, I like Whatever. them all the way. John likes them all the way. Is that it? Did you do it? So that is our Costco haul. $600. I know it doesn't look like meals, but that's because... It's not. <laughs> they don't have everything that we need or like, like gluten-free wise. We, they don't have gluten-free pasta that we can have. Everything has quinoa in it, which Elena reacts to. It's just a whole thing. For us, we have a lot of dietary restrictions. So we get a lot of snacks, a lot of produce, which is real raw food, you know, nuts, things like that, good for you foods from Costco. And then we pick up the things we need to fill in to make meals from other places. So I'm gonna show you guys those things in another video. Hope you enjoyed our Costco haul. Hope this has convinced you that Costco might be worth a shot. Go with a friend so you can use their membership to try it out and see if you like it.